everyone, this is Grace. Hello and welcome again. This video is going to be another fun math activity video for your little one. And I'm going to give out some cool printables in this video. So to get those printables, click on the link in the description box below. It will take you to my website, learnandgrowwithgrace.com. And you can print these out for free. So let's begin. The first activity is number tracing using a street numbers. I bet there can be a more fun way to learn number formation than these street numbers, especially if your little one is a car lover just like mine. I first came up with 0 to 9, but then when I noticed that my son started using his fingers to count, I simply added the signs plus, minus and equals. And trust me, they have taken this activity to a whole new level. Is it five? Yeah. Good. Good. So click on the link in the description below to print these out. I suggest you laminate the sheets before cutting the street numbers out. However, if you want the street numbers to be a bit sturdier, then simply glue them to a cardboard before cutting those out. And let the fun begin. The second activity is fingerprint counting. Uh, trust me when I say this, there is nothing more appealing to little ones than to dip their finger in paint. One, two. So choose from um, the five different themes and simply have your child dip and print. A great sensory activity that will teach some real counting. The third activity is number hunt. There is something about drawing a circle or crossing out things. I came up with this number hunt activity sheet for my two year old and I can't tell you how much he loves to hunt for the right number just to circle and cross out the other numbers in the group. Is this four? Yeah. No, but it's four. <laughs> This is a great visual discrimination activity. Seven, seven, yeah! It also helps with fine motor skills and pre-writing skills because your little one has to hold the pencil or the pen or the crayon um, to trace, circle or cross out. Toddlers might need help tracing and circling the numbers, but if your child is a preschooler, then he can enjoy doing this activity on his own. The fourth activity is count and compare. It is a great activity because your little one can visually see the difference between the numbers. You can talk about how a number is greater than or lesser than the other numbers in the group. For example, you can talk about how two is greater than one but lesser than three. So print and laminate the sheet and simply have your child place tiny objects like buttons, cereal pieces or any other similar objects and enjoy having some great math conversation with your little one. The last activity is keep counting. This activity is more appropriate for um, older kids like kindergartners but if your little one has learned his numbers like from 1 to 100 then you can try this activity with him because why not? I came up with this activity because I wanted our son to visually see the numbers because he learned to skip count simply by counting the stairs at our house. I wasn't sure if he was ready yet for this activity because he is just two years old. But finally when I introduced these sheets to him, he seems to not get enough of doing this activity because the skip counting sheets have his favorite thing, cars. Let's count it. Yeah, count 10. Yay! By the way, I've done a video on how our two-year-old learned to skip count. I will leave the link in the description box below. So don't forget to check it out. 
So go with the sheets which have cars on them if your child is a car lover just like mine. Go with the sheets with teddy bears if your child is a cute little girl. And go with the sheets with no pictures if you want to challenge your child to do the skip counting himself. So print these out and have your child stamp a fingerprint as they skip counts. If you want to reuse them, then laminate and have your child place tiny objects such as animal figurines or buttons or any other similar objects. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember, every child is unique and every child learns at a different pace. But as Einstein suggested, every child is intelligent and every child is a genius irrespective of how the child performs at school. So as parents and as our children's first teachers, let's strongly believe in it and make the learning process fun and interesting, you know, especially during the early years of life because the first five years in a child's life have got so much to do with how the next 80 years turn out to be. Yeah, these are not my words, don't get me wrong. These are the words of one of the most successful people in the world, Bill Gates. So let's invest in these early years and lay that foundation so strong so that our children can build a happy and a successful life in the future.